We propose DeepVoxels, a persistent object-specific embedding to enable 3D reasoning in generative models. DeepVoxels embeds both appearance and geometry for high-quality novel view synthesis. DeepVoxels is a persistent 3D feature grid. At training time, we globally optimize over all 2D observations of an object to find its DeepVoxels representation. When training is finished, the training images are discarded. The converged deep voxels representation can now be used to render novel views of the same object without access to the original training set. We demonstrate this approach on a variety of objects and outperform all baselines. At the bottom, we show the best performing baseline which exhibits severe artifacts. In the following, we present two of our core contributions. The first is the optimization framework necessary to find the deep voxels representation. We illustrate this process in two dimensions. We take as input a set of 2D images and their extrinsic and intrinsic camera parameters. Deep Voxels begins as an empty feature grid. Our goal is to continuously integrate all 2D observations into Deep Voxels. For a given 2D view, we first extract its features using a feature extraction network. We then lift these features into a temporary 3D feature grid using the intrinsic and extrinsic camera parameters. We now want to update the persistent deep voxels representation with these new observations. This is achieved with a jointly trained feature integration network that learns to combine the previous deep voxels representation with the lifted 2D observations. To supervise these steps, we select a nearby target view from the training set. We project the 3D features from deep voxels to the target view. A rendering network then translates the projected 2D features to a rendering of the target view. We enforce closeness to ground truth with a combined L1 and adversarial loss. The whole architecture can be trained end-to-end, -end, as all of these steps are fully differentiable and gradients can flow through deep voxels all the way back to the feature extraction network. We now iterate over all available training views, continuously integrating new observations into deep voxels, supervised only by our 2D re-rendering loss. Training ends when both the deep voxels embedding and the neural networks have converged. The training set is now discarded, and we can use the deep voxels representation together with a learned rendering network to render novel views of the object. Occlusion reasoning is essential to rendering. Our second core contribution is thus an occlusion module that reasons about voxel visibility. Our goal is to render a novel view from our deep voxels representation. We first apply a perspective transform to resample the optimized features to the canonical view volume. A 3D occlusion network takes as input the canonical view volume and outputs per voxel visibility weights that sum up to one along each ray. Intuitively, occluded voxels or empty space will receive low visibility scores. The projected feature is now determined via convex combination of all features along the ray. The per voxel visibility weights can also be interpreted as the probability of this voxel containing a visible surface. This can also be used to compute a depth map. Here, we show model output without occlusion reasoning on the left and model output with the proposed occlusion module on the right, as well as the estimated depth map in the center. We see that the proposed occlusion module significantly improves the quality of the generated images. We now show detailed qualitative comparisons to several baselines. Please see the paper for quantitative comparisons and a detailed discussion of the baselines. Notably, the baselines tend to be attracted to the nearest neighbor of the target pose in the training set, leading to sudden snapping movements instead of a smooth trajectory. Deep voxels consistently outperforms all baselines, both qualitatively and quantitatively. We also investigated the impact of the number of training images as well as the size of the volume on deep voxels performance. Please see the paper for details on these ablation studies. Lastly, we applied our approach on real data that we captured with the DSLR camera and performed sparse bundle adjustment to obtain camera parameters. Thank you for watching.